where you live. Well, cloudy and calm tonight, but I'm tracking our next storm. It's down here in the desert southwest. Already some showers breaking out here in Texas and Oklahoma, and you can see the showers just starting to break out here in Missouri. This area is really going to fill in, and we're going to see the rain get in here at later tomorrow afternoon with the heaviest moving in tomorrow night, lasting into early Thursday morning before gradually tapering off. There could even be an isolated thunderstorm mixed in all that as well as the winds start to crank up with this pretty strong storm system. Tomorrow morning, 28 degrees. If we are lucky, fingers are crossed, a few little breaks in the clouds. Otherwise, it is a cloudy day with rain moving in late in the afternoon and towards evening. The wind will crank up out of the south and southeast up to 20 miles an hour. So that will pull in warm air, 45 at 4, and there you see the rain starting to move on in. Now, the main uh, part of this outlook will hinge upon the shower chances, the rain chances, but also the warmer weather that's going to wipe away all this snowfall. Rain into tomorrow night, the rain slowly ending Thursday, but it's going to wash away the snow cover. But with that snow cover around uh, melting, it's going to put more water in the rivers, more water in the streams, and with a half to eight tenths of an inch of rain likely, you'll notice the rivers and streams starting to come up a little bit. A brief cold snap over the weekend with a little bit of light snow and then warmer next week, at least for the early part of the week. Upper 20s area wide tonight. 28 Kokomo, 28 Lafayette, 27 Monticello and 29 Crawfordsville. Watch out for a couple slick spots in the morning for any moisture or slush freezing on area roadways and generally about 40 to 45 tomorrow, 41 at Winnemac, 43 Monticello, 43 as well at Burlington. 44 tipped in Atlanta and Frankfurt, and about 45 at West Point, Stockwell, and Lafayette. So it's cloudy at 3 o'clock. Here comes the rain in the green here, moving across the area. It'll be kind of a periodic rain at first, and the bulk of the heavier rainfall coming in overnight tomorrow night, very early Thursday morning, and that's when there could even be an isolated thunderstorm mixed in that. And then the rain will slowly come to an end on Thursday. As the wind cranks up, we could get some gusts uh, on Thursday up 30, 31 miles per hour with rainfall once it comes to an end, adding up to a half to about 8 tenths, 51 hundredths Peru, 67 hundredths expected Lafayette, about three quarters Williamsport, Fowler up towards Rensselaer, 8 tenths Kentland, and about 8 tenths at Hoopston and 59 hundredths at Frankfurt. So let's kind of detail all this over the next seven days here. Again, there's the rain coming in tomorrow. Heaviest rain tomorrow night. 43 may even rise a degree or two. 47 windy on Thursday. Rain pulling away. Friday's looking better and better. A little breezy, partly cloudy. 50 degrees, but it gets colder Saturday. A few snow showers. 40 Sunday, and then it warms up nicely. Windy. 53 with a little band of scattered showers. Perhaps a couple thunderstorms Tuesday, but. Yeah, then it cools off again. Wednesday, it's back to 35, but by later next week, we could be back into the 50s. And, and eventually, towards the tail end of the month, we may hit 60 degrees. So again, it's the topsy-turvy weather pattern. Our average high is 38, average low is 21. We're going to remain above that except for Saturday, but that 50 Friday will be good <laughs> after some rain, kind of gloomy for at least a day and a half in there. All right. Well, yep. it, you know what? When it's supposed to be 38 and it's 50, no one has any room to complain. <laughs> there's a lot of runners out there that enjoy that stuff. Yep. So, all right, chat. Well, Mike, there's a lot of stuff. Pacers looking to uh, rebound some, from some uh, losing ways, but the Kings in town.